two up on New Year's Day 2015. Um, this is a right of New Year's Day um, with my wife Jackie. A quick spin on the BMW RS, or ATS I should say. Um, so we just went for a bit of a spin around town and then kind of headed towards uh, Littleton to head to some really steep streets which you'll see soon. Still amazed by the GoPro how it can handle light but in the shadows to remain you know, the detail and stuff. It's pretty good. So here we go, we saw a, um, a, a BMW R80 RS I think it is, um, waved and tooted and so forth. I don't think he realised what was going on and they kind of intimidated this little um, a Toyota RAV in front of me who later pulled over thinking I was revving the engine at them. So yeah, we headed up the hills, um, we went through town on the way, and there's a lot of change happening here in Christchurch, as I mentioned in other videos, and a lot of buildings being rebuilt, and um, old buildings that have been retrofitted, like this little church here, which is the walls, the roof, everything's been redone apart from the woodwork with inside. So the inside of the, that building looks original, but the outside's been completely redone and covered in copper and stuff. Copper's quite nice, um, but I've noticed some buildings have got the copper that goes all the way down to the street surface, which is a bit of a, um, a, a bit of a um, bugger because you know dogs peeing against buildings. It starts to patina against the copper. There's one building in Merivale that I've noticed. This cranes obviously more rebuild, and here is a family ride. Um, a guy on a Harley and his look like his eight-year-old daughter, and then following him was his wife on her um, Ducati. Monster, so everyone was out for a family ride, it was kind of cool. I kind of wish we brought Sebastian along, but we didn't have any room. We could fit one in the tank, I guess. So, heading up um, the hills, the Kashmir Hills, and um, kind of going a long way into Littleton. Um, I found um, it was quiet on the road, quite a lot of cyclists on New Year's Day, um, but a lot of people carriers or these MPV vehicles, which just drive me crazy. But you know, everyone's got to get out and enjoy the day, so. That's all good. So you kind of always see these sort of MPV um, or soccer mum chariots with those My Family stickers. Yeah, which was a bit of a craze about two, three years ago. Um, still see them. So heading up over the hill, and um, yeah, it's quite a nice day in Canterbury. A bit chilly, but nice. Did have my heated grips on though, even though it's the middle of summer. So yep, Jackie, Jackie likes riding pulling on the back. She's quite new to bikes. She's kind of keen to kind of um, maybe one day get a learner's bike, which means we'll have two bikes in the stable, which, which is cool. Um, I've been looking at the SR400. Uh, mind you, the kickstart on that might be a bit difficult, being a new rider. And um, the other bike was the uh, Sky Team Ace 125, which is a tiny little bike, but it's got that kind of retro Honda kind of two-stroke racer kind of look to it. Um, good for commuting around commu commuting around town, I guess, and I'll probably want to use it every now and then as well, um, which would be kind of cool. These are quite nice um, twisties on this road, but just didn't have enough um, passing space, especially with Jack in the back. I uh, didn't want to hoon it too much. I think it's, it's always good to take it easy when you've got pillion on the back because you don't want to freak them out, put them off motorcycling altogether and also especially when it's your wife thinking it's really dangerous then and probably never let you ride again so taking it nice and easy. This is a really fast hill coming down here and um, I got distracted by um, the scooter which is coming uphill and I thought it was going bloody fast up the hill trying to work out what it was and then suddenly realised the car in front of me had stopped for this little narrow bit of road here so um, that was a bit freaky, um, especially with both of us on the bike. So unfortunately these people carriers are going the same way I'm going, so hopefully we find an overtaking kind of area. So this is Governor's Bay and then heading towards Littleton this way. It's quite a short ride this. Um, Yeah, in the next week or so I'm hoping to do a bit of a big run, uh, maybe to Tikapo or um, the west coast, go to the west coast for a day back. I'm quite keen to do that run because I'm kind of getting bored of this local footage that I keep taking. 
but um, kind of want to give you guys a bit more variety. Here we go, past the My Family sticker car. Yeah, so, yeah, I hope in the next uh, motor vlog after this will be um, some more exotic scenery uh, going through the, the Al Alps of the South Island and um, seeing some amazing um, some scenery footage and all that kind of stuff. Don't know how the GoPro is going to last because the battery life is pretty rubbish. So, I'm looking at getting one of those little power packs so I can keep it charged up and topped up in the, in the back seat while I find decent scenery to flick onto it. So, here we are, we're heading into Littleton. I'm going over the back roads around Littleton, some really steep sort of suburban streets, um, which, which can be a bit of a challenge to a new ride. I'm kind of where I learned to ride, which was in Wellington, a lot of the roads were very similar. But being a heavier bike and having a pillion on board and, and also having a bit of loose sort of gravelly stuff some, in some places. And, you know, two, two rides ago I had that um, near miss going around the corner with some loose gravel. There's the tunnel, we'll go through that later on the way back home. And head up the street here, I'm going to try and find the highest point in Littleton to, um, to reach. So these roads are pretty steep. A um, bit hard to notice on the GoPro, but if you look at the buildings, you can see the gradient there. Um, it's just the perspective of the sort of fisheye lens kind of doesn't show any justice. Well, I think any camera doesn't show it justice. So here, a lot of the retaining walls have been damaged from the quake, and they've kind of got some temporary concrete blocks that have been there for the last four years, reinforcing, because obviously, if those walls go, so do the houses, and it's pretty much the whole little town here of Littleton is, is terraced. Some new houses being built, obviously, um, you know, earthquake repairs and maybe the previous house was too far beyond damage, so they rebuilt it to current sort of strength and code. So coming up here, it's quite steep this road, and um, I think this is where I come across some cats just lazing in the sun in the middle of the road. I thought it was roadkill at first, but they moved, so that was good. Is just moved in time. So moving at slow speeds, you really do notice a difference when you've got someone on the back, especially if there's a lot of scenery, they're moving around and that kind of alters your sort of direction of your bike. So it does take a bit of getting used to, especially on these hills. I mean, these are really steep hills. You're kind of watching the road surface, looking for gravel, potholes, um, traffic and then the weight distribution of yourself and your pillion as well so it, it technically is quite um, quite a challenge but um, also quite enjoyable as well so this is probably the highest point I've been able to find in Littleton other people might know of higher places to go but this is quite high and gives you an idea of how high it is because basically Littleton at the base is right at sea level the house there I think has all been boarded up. A, a lot of boulders came down from the top of the mountain and damaged quite a few houses and they've been um, deemed um, unable to be lived in. So, so here I kind of look towards the horizon just to get an idea of how steep it is. Um, I don't know what the, the grade is but it's pretty steep. Not as steep as Baldwin Street which is in Dunedin which is lower in the South Island which has actually got the, um, the name as the steepest street in the world which I hope to do a run down that one actually on this bike. I've been on the, the Vespa many years ago but, um, but yeah you, you know it's a lot of these cars parked have the, well they should have the wheels turned into the, um, the gutter just in case the handbrake fails but I haven't seen any do that. This guy nearly pulled out in front of me and my brakes were getting pretty worn constantly squealing all the way down here. This road, this used to be the main road towards Sumner, and which is now was closed pretty much straight away as there was a big rock fall and there was apparently a petrol tanker on this road which got stuck and apparently it's still there, but the, the road is closed off to the public. I'd love to see that, I might check it out on Google, but uh, uh, even it, the road itself is even close to pedestrians, a bit further along, so these are all the signs saying road closed ahead. Back in the day, this was a fantastic ride. If you wanted a quick ride um, from Christchurch, you go through Sumner and then up over the hill, 
uh, past Godly Head and then um, come this way into Littleton and then pop through the tunnel. Nice little quick ride. I think it would take you about 40 minutes to get back home again. So this is the the, um, the end of the road. The last time I rode up this road, I was following a um, oh, I can't remember the car, the naked car. Um, I think it was a an Ace. Ooh, I'll put something in the comments when I remember it and flick it up on the screen. Um, it was one of the cars that Jeremy Clarkson tried out in Top Gear and got all the facial expressions from the wind because his face was exposed. Atom, aerial atom, that was what it is. Yeah, so I was chasing that in my car but it completely got left behind. Obviously it's power to weight ratio, it's an R1. So this is Littleton Town Centre. Um, a lot of the coffee shops are coming back again. This one here has just been rebuilt. And, um, and other buildings are still there. For you, use of containers for temporary places. And there's a little village square there that's just popped up. I haven't noticed that, and that's all been landscaped over the last couple of months. And coming down here, so here we have a lot of boats that um, do a lot of fishing towards Antarctica and um, I think uh, the Russian boats that go to Antarctica actually pit stop here for supplies and um, quite a lot of Russian boats um, come into this port as well as uh, boats bringing in um, imported items into the country such as cars and uh, products and so forth. So here's Little Tin Tunnel getting towards the end of the run um, once again Thanks ever so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and comment, please. I really appreciate that. And until um, next time, hopefully I'll get a bit further out of town and get some better scenery. Anyway, take care and Happy New Year for 2015.